Make sure you watch this entire video, absolutely free breakdown for Saturday. We're going to have two games. I'm going to give you one now. I'm going to give you one here in a couple minutes. We're breaking down first Georgia versus South Carolina, a, uh, an SEC showdown here. Not much of a showdown probably, but we're going to break it down. All right, shout out in the last game, Greg Myers. Oh, all the old boys are back. Greg Myers, Preston Burke, Waterboy. Bradley Duvell, Carl Evans, Billy Rockefeller, Mike. Welcome to the page, Mike. I think you're new. And Michael Ash. All right. Let's rock and roll. Michael Ash doesn't like my pick, but hey, guess what? Let's see what happens here. All right. So we are sitting at 2-1 and one on the week. We had the loser Monday night. We had the winner followed up in baseball. And then we had the winning teaser for Thursday night football, the Chargers and the under. And we could have played both games straight up and won both games straight up also. Chargers covered by themselves, under covered by itself. Let's keep digging. Let's keep rolling. I'm excited about this Saturday. I think we're going to – we have a game going on right here in the next – hour and a half, two hours, and we're going to have two Saturday games. Now, the game going on an hour and a half, two hours, that was released last night. I hope you're on it. I predicted uh, Louisville. Let's see what happens there. All right, so South Carolina, one and one, hosting the national champions and the undefeated Georgia Bulldogs this Saturday, 12 o'clock. When I say you sometimes you know and sometimes you don't know. There's some teams like Georgia where you know a lot more than you don't know. Where I came in last year and said before the season that they were my favorite to win it all. And then I predicted them against the spread in the Alabama game as well. They're 2-0, and 41 points per game. Average holding opponents to an average of 9 points a game going back to last year. Their team looks more impressive than last year. Their offense looks way better than last year. I think they pushed the South Carolina team around line to line. And you got Stetson Bennett completing 75% of his passes. Who boy. South Carolina, on the other hand, they started their schedule with a loss to Arkansas. Uh, their SEC schedule, that is. They, they gave up 95 rushing yards. 295 rushing yards. Absolute bloodbath of a, of a yardage. Um, but they do have Spencer Rattler, and he passed for 4,500 yards and 40 touchdowns for Oklahoma. Right now, 600 yards, 8 yards per pass, not terrible. Their pass defense, by the way, is ranked second in the SEC, only allowing 137 yards per game, 5.5 yards per pass, 50% completion rate to opposing quarterbacks. But they have a Bulldogs offense that's ranked second in passing yards per game so it's going to be clash of the titans right here georgia has won the last 10 meetings um seven of the last 10 meetings between them the last two in a row georgia hasn't really been able to run the ball effectively they rank 10th in rushing in the sec but south carolina has multiple defenders out and hurt and this is going to be a rebound gang Georgia is 11 and 6 against the spread in their last 17. South Carolina is 7 7 and 1 in their last 15 against the spread. I'm on Georgia. Comeback game after whatever's going on with them as far as covering more spreads than they were last year because their offense is better than it was last year and their defense pretty much for the most part, looks the same. All they have to do is run the ball more effectively. And I smell... And now listen, I'm not going to judge anything on one game with Bama, but I smell national championship again for Georgia. They got to keep crushing these teams. Let them cover this 24-point spread tonight. If you have 25, buy it to 24. It's a lot of points. Play it safe. I love you guys. I'll see you in a few minutes. Subscribe to the page. Turn on your notifications, leave a comment, hit the like. See you in a couple minutes for more college football.